Hi, I'm Tony Anscom from AVG Technologies. Welcome to this AVG Academy video. Today we're going to look at how to install AVG Cleaner for Mac and some of the features that offers you. So here we are on the AVG website. To download the Mac products, we're going to take the Mac tab at the top here. Uh, and I'm going to click on AVG Cleaner for Mac. So as you can see, there's a big green download button here. If I click on that, it takes me to the iTunesApple.com store. Uh, I can go off to the Mac store and get the application from there. And I'm going to click on Install. As you can see, it's installing in the launch pad down the bottom here. and the product's now installed. So here we are in applications. Uh, now I'm going to start AVG Cleaner. And this is the, the user interface. It's got two options here, Disk Cleaner and it's got Duplicate Finder. So let's start with Disk Cleaner. And Disk Cleaner removes cache and junk files, logs, download history, and trash. Let's see what effect it would have on my machine and how much space it's going to give me back. Wow, that was firstly the scan was super quick, and as you can see, it's found 1.5 gigabytes of uh, space it can actually free up for me. So if I view that, it will give me a list of what those files are. Firstly, the downloads directory. Uh, as you can see, Chrome is taking up 441 megabytes. Uh, the trash application caches, mail, download, Safari, etc., etc. Now, you can see not everything is selected, so it's only telling me to remove what's selected. So it's leaving my downloads uh, directory for me to make those decisions. Um, I'm quite happy with uh, some of these being left, so Chrome I'm happy to leave, uh, but I'm going to remove the rest as recommended. So now I'm going to click on Clean and save myself 612.7 megabytes. That's it, it's done. That was an easy win. Now if I go back uh, and look at Duplicate Finder, I can scan now. What this is looking for is pictures, music, videos, or documents where I've got the same file on my machine multiple times. And it's not looking for necessarily the same file name. What it's looking for is the same file fingerprints, the actual DNA of the file, if you like. Um, now, this is good for me because I have lots of photographs and things on my machine. I import them from my camera, and then I put them into different directories to store them. So this should, uh, should recognize actually quite a bit of space to... Uh, to unduplicate for me. So as you can see, the scan has actually found 1.2 gigabytes of duplicated items on my machine. Now I need to look at these and make sure I'm happy to remove them. Uh, as you can see, they're all in the images folder, as I predicted. Uh, by clicking the little arrow, it will open these up. Uh, and you can see I've got, uh, for example, this picture I've taken uh, in Brazil. Uh, it's, it, it's in a Brazil directory, it's on my desktop, and it's also in my photo library. So I can choose which one of these three I want to keep. Uh, so I can select these two and I can clean it, automatically saving me that space. And I can do this for every duplicated file it finds on my machine. Uh, and as you saw, it reckons it would clean up 1.2 gigabytes if I go through this. So I'm just going to clean that one just to show you how it works. Cleaning was successful. Now I go back to the main user interface and I've got these two great green circles telling me I've cleaned my machine up and potentially I would have saved 1.2 gigabytes of uh, duplicated file space, uh, also 600 megabytes of disk clean space, you know, giving me nearly a couple of gigabytes back for other storage and makes my machine faster and performing better. Congratulations, you've now installed AVG Cleaner for Mac. This was an AVG Academy video, and we look forward to seeing you next time.